I'll start with disclosures. A few years ago, I bought a boat at the Central Oregon Sportsman Show. I've arranged fishing trips to Alaska at the show. I've purchased merchandise and picked the minds of vendors, outfitters, and experts at the show. And that's the point. Outdoor enthusiasts of all stripes will find exhibits, seminars, and products of interest at the Sportsman Show. We're in the right place at the right time. There's so much, as you know, in the great Northwest to do with fishing and hunting activities, and then all the other outdoor activities. And we really play to that. So, you know, we understand who's coming and we do our very best to, to reach them with this show. It's late winter, it's still crummy out. So what else would you do but want to go look at all the vendors and all the merchandise? Well, that's, that's no mistake. <laughs> that's by design and you're exactly right. The only thing that we hope for, and we cross our fingers every year, is there's no snow. And this year, you know, last year in Central Oregon, we had historic snowfall. And you know, what makes Central Oregon really special is that's part of their lifestyle. And they turned out in droves and really supported us last year. We're so grateful. More disclosure. This video is from the Sportsman Show in Portland in early February. You can expect many of the same exhibits at the Redmond Show, including cooking competitions, an RV and boat show, the head and horns competition, an indoor archery range, and the always popular kids fishing pond. How many fish did you catch, Nora? Uh, two. This is such an awesome experience for Nora, too, and she's, yeah, it's, it's such an awesome thing that they put on every year. An average of 20,000 people attend the Central Oregon Sportsman Show at the fairgrounds each year. That makes it the second largest event in the region, trailing only the Deschutes County Fair itself. What do you fish for? How do you fish out of a kayak? It's pretty similar to, to fishing from a, from a regular power boat. You set up rod holders and you're usually trolling kind of with the rod across your lap. Right. And then when you get a takedown, you kind of got to let the fish really get it. And once it gets it, the rod's basically burying right into your lap and you just take it out, keep pedaling, fighting the fish, kind of pull them along keep and wear them out. Yep, yep same exactly. Thing. While wandering the aisles, I discovered a display of kayaks designed specifically for fishing. These kayaks are propelled by pedaling leaving the operator's hands free to handle rods and reels. How cool is that? It's really a great time to, to get into this sport because there's so much just right there at your fingertips. I got away from the kayak fishing exhibit with a lot of ideas and my wallet intact. Touchscreen fish finder, a wheel system, storage throughout the boat, stand assist bar, pedal drive, kayak fishing seat, and a bunch of different accessories. If people really take advantage of it, uh, the opportunity, the ticket price is a bargain. Uh, you'll spend all day going through here and you'll come away with a lot more than you came in with. Part of the pleasure is just people are so friendly. I mean, all the vendors are here to share. You can talk to anybody yes. and they'll talk to you. They're eager and, uh, and they're ready uh, to share their expertise with you. Elbows in tight and that keeps that rod traveling on a straight line. The Central Oregon Sportsman Show will be at the Deschutes County Fair and Expo Center March 12th through 15th. Tickets are $12 for adults, $5 for youth, and children under age 5 are free. From the Sportsman Show, I'm Brooks Snavely for The Great Outdoors.